sure. Uh, yes, you have. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Okay. Uh, right, go on, get yourself to the bus stop. I'll meet you there. No, Jack. He's got a temperature. Thought we'd best to keep him off. Diane's got her eye on him. Oh, bless him. See you later. Right. So come on, then, you know. Tom's mystery tart. Who was she? Wife or another bit on the side? She was a colleague, actually. But thanks, because of you, I made a complete fool of myself. We're in there like a bunny boiler. So then what was his excuse for last night's no-show? Well, he bottled it. He's never done the whole meet the family thing before. We still lied about being ill, babe. I'm sorry, the guy's dodgy. I can feel it in my bones. Well, that'll be your arthritis playing up. He's got a few issues. Who hasn't? Yeah, well, you tell him for me that I've got issues with him for messing you about constantly. Well, you can tell him yourself. I'm going to get him over this afternoon. You might even like him. Well, I won't hold my breath. Please do. Do you seem OK to you? Alfie. Only he hasn't touched his food. I reckon he's not himself. Oh, he has that many treats during the day. It's no wonder he's not hungry. Yeah. Maybe. Keep an eye on him, though, won't you? Just in case. Is Kyle about? He's at school. Kane's going to take him out later for a birthday treat. Oh, is there any news on Moira? Kane says she's fine. Apparently, she was out and about last night. Poor woman. I mean, we've got to count our blessings, all things considered. Mum, we're going to be fine. Whatever happens, we can call. Well, as long as your dad doesn't end up in prison. Trashing cars, kicking off all the time. He seems hell-bent on getting himself locked away. He's just upset. We all are. Right. <laughs> Would you believe it? What? Another surveyor. Huh? If I see you one more, I swear I'm gonna lamp him. No, let's forget about it and get the tree ready for yeah. Kyle. I'm sorry, love, I just get that angry. The thought that this might be our last Christmas, isn't it? No, it's not. Not by a long shot. No, and if that Morris thinks the dingles can be bought, well, he's dafter than he looks. Isn't that right, love? Mm, I suppose. Is that more stuff for the grotto? Well, no, it certainly is. <sighs> How big's this thing gonna be? Well, it won't be the biggest in Yorkshire, but it will definitely be the best. Don't worry. I'll have it all sorted by the end of play. What's with the face? This whole Pete thing. Everything was going so well, and I, I just don't know I could be so stupid. Mm. Mentioning his mum and Finn wasn't your greatest moment. So have you spoken to him, sorted things out? This is me. We're talking about David. Things are now like a gazillion times <laughs> worse. We kissed. You c How's that made things worse? It's the best Christmas present Pete could have wished for. Pink. Yeah, and it came early. Yeah, well, he was made up, but I couldn't get out of there quick enough. I don't know what it is with me and blokes. Why do I always get things so wrong? I thought you two were supposed to be cracking on with decorations. Hmm? Well, I thought you weren't that fussed. I am. And it's like Belle says, Kyle will be made up. Are they still up in the loft, Mum? Yeah, where they've always been. <clears throat> Come on, then, Dad, and you're on time. <laughs> Hello. Yes, it's uh, Lisa Dingle. We need to talk. Yeah, right. I'll meet you there. Bye. Hey. I'm just popping into Otten. Hey. Oh, right, well, by the time you get back, it'll be like a winter wonderland. <laughs> no developer's gonna ruin our Christmas. Yeah, that's as the... Um... <laughs> This whole reading my mind thing, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Old habits, eh? <laughs> Listen, this, uh, this thing with Pete, you need to be careful. So there's all that stuff with Priya. I know. And he jilted you at the altar. To be fair to him, I jilted him and all, didn't I? So what's happening? Do you still have feelings for him or do you just feel sorry for him after everything that's happened? All 
I know is that everything's a right mess. And what about the kiss? It felt right. And... Until... Until it didn't. <laughs> yeah. So what next, eh? I don't know. I mean, does Pete really want me or is he just so messed up right now that he thinks that he wants me? Never mind him. What about you? What do you want? It wasn't all bad between us, you know, we had some really good times and... It's not like there's a million blokes knocking down my door, is there, but... Call me a you. There you go. Please, Ross, phone me. I know how you're feeling, mate. I'm the same. Come on, I need you. Ooh, well, what's that on? Oh, I want to drink this, not wear it. Sorry, it's my fault. So, what can I do you for? Uh, tea, please. Oh, uh, Kerry told me about the trouble you're having on the house in front. How's all that going? Badly. Uh, coffee, please. Black three sugars. No problem. You, you get comfy, I'll bring it over to you. Just, um... <clears throat> So, you know, I haven't come to any decision. I wouldn't do anything without Zach says. Oh, naturally. But am I right in thinking that you'd like to review your options? Uh, somewhat like that. Very sensible of you. Um, about all this, us being here, I'd be grateful if you didn't mention any of it to Zach. Oh, that's fine by me. Mm. Uh, um, about this offer that you made yesterday, of the extra 50,000, does that still stand? Oh, it's yours for the taking. Look, I I'm pretty sure where Zach stands on this issue, but what about you? What is it that you want? There it is. <laughs> Must have dropped it the other day. Yeah, must have. How's your bruises? Yeah, I'll live. It's a shame. Live? Why are you here? Well, I, I lost this. Right, now you found it. Bye. Oi. I know she's right. Um, I should go. I'll see you later. Lost his phone. Yeah, pulled the other one. It couldn't be more obvious if he tried. Oh, come on, cut him a bit of slack. He's just going through an hard time. And no, before you ask, we're not back together and that's the way he's going to stay. He's just using you. You can do miles better than him. Oh, yeah, because I'm such a catch. That doctor seems to think so. Two words. Horse. Bolted. Then why is he still liking your posts? And why are you some sort of online stalker? Alex is a mate. End of. What are you even doing here? Forgot my game skit, didn't I? Just get back to school. Yeah, whatever. I know you're hardly our biggest fan, but this golf course isn't only about turning a profit. It's about revitalising the whole area. The shops, the pubs, the cafes. They'll all benefit. Like your fancy pants mates we want to hang out here. They'll be too busy in their flash new clubhouse, supping champagne. You're being offered a lot of money. It would make you and Zach's retirement a great deal easier. Trips away, no money troubles. You couldn't ask for more. What about the rest of my family? What happens to them? Oh, kids move on and they move out. I mean, take your daughter, uh, Belle, is it? Oh, she's bright. Accept our offer, you can pay our way through university. Uh, sorry to disturb. Mind if I just, uh... We do, yeah. Mm. Right, sorry. I'll leave you to it, then. Look, could you give me an hour of your time? Two tops. Why would I want to do that? Because I'd like to show you something that could make your decision a little easier. So, yeah, apparently I'm finally going to get to meet with some money bags. I'm not telling you now he's a wrong one and I'm going to prove it. Well, I thought that'd start off with, but Debs has been really happy lately. You know, what if you're wrong? Huh? She has got better taste in men than both of us put together. Well, you, anyway. Well, we'll see, won't we? That's if you can even be bothered to show up. Yeah. You all right? Do you want another? Pint for the road, maybe? Oh, better not. The mood I'm in. If I start a drink, I'll end up leathered. Woman trouble, eh? Yeah, there's that. And I'm losing my dad my mum. And oh, yeah, my youngest brother. Sorry, mate, I didn't mean to. I guess we should be apologising. It's not your fault, is it? I suppose you've seen Layla today, have you? What? 
Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Actually, we were um, we were talking about you earlier. Really? Yeah. I should be brilliant since we everything. Probably dug me out of a hole. Oh, we had a little kiss last night. I thought it was what she wanted, but no, I just don't know. Like if I've blown this, David. Oh come on, mate. Anyone can see how much she cares about you. It's just. You reckon? I mean, we've been spending a lot of time together. She must have some feelings for me, right? Of course she does. It's just. Well, maybe I just hit a man up, take somewhere romantic and tell her how I feel. I mean, that'd work, wouldn't it? Yes, but. <laughs> you know what? Oh. This might be a fresh start for both of us. Thanks, mate. I owe you. They yeah. are yeah, really impressive, aren't they? Five bedrooms. Two receptions, garage. You wait till you see the garden. It's a delightful area. There's a lovely park. It's perfect for the grandkids. I thought you were a councillor, not an estate agent. The developers behind this are the same ones working on the golf course. And your point is? They'd like to offer you the chance to buy this. Are you mad? Even if we accept your offer, it would take every penny we had, and more. Ah, that's the point. You'd get this at a ridiculous discount, almost cost price. A brand new house, money in the bank. What's not to love? Fancy a guided tour? Five minutes late. It'll be the traffic. Oh, yes, traffic. Virus meetings. Got all bases covered, that one, honey. Well, yeah, yeah, you will see. <sighs> oh. Sorry, I'm late. Traffic was a nightmare. Oh. I shouldn't take the private jet. <laughs> Next time. So, where is she? Ah, right on cue. Mother, meet my boyfriend. Tom, meet my mother. Charity, isn't it? Only by name, yeah. So, Tom, who are you and uh, what do you think you're doing with my daughter? Do you mind? Uh, sorry if you're busy. No, sit down. Please don't tell me he's falling for Suckling's lies again. Looks like it. He's always round at the mill, saying that the only thing he cares about is the brat. No, the only thing he cares about is himself. Just wish Aaron had found himself a decent bloke for a change. He has. Alex. Who? The fit doctor he's always hanging around with. Aaron says there's nothing going on, but he's not fooling anyone. Are you up to summer? Me? Do not mess in your brother's love life. It will not end well. Good of you to finally show up. I did wonder. Debbie told me all about yesterday's attempt at espionage. It's nice to meet you properly. Pleasure is all yours. I see where you get your attitude from, and I mean that in a good way. Well, Mum does a lot of things, but, you know, subtle isn't one of them. I can do subtle if I need to. I just find that it's easier to just say it as it is. So please take a seat, because I think it's time I got to know all about you, Tom. So it begins. Just so you know, uh, Sarah's already given me a thorough grilling. Mm -hmm. But Sarah's a child. I think you'll find conning me is a damn sight harder. You deserve the best, and that's what we're offering. It's not me you need to talk to. It's Zach. If he agrees your deal, he'll think he's lost the battle. But he'll have won the war, and you know it. You owe it to yourself. No debt, no mortgage. Most people will be biting my hand off. Come on, Alfie. Good walk will sort you out, mate. Come on. See you in a bit. Yeah, hello. Well, I do get it. It's only natural. You want what's best for Debbie. And you think you're it? So all this cash you're flashing around, where did it come from? And don't kid on. 
You earned it. You barely had a nappies. Oh, Mum. That's a fair enough question. Um, I inherited some and I built the rest of the business up myself. Well, aren't you the lucky one? If you call losing both your parents when you're a kid lucky, I suppose I am. Yeah, OK, I'm... S I'm sorry. But then what about the house and the Bentley? I mean, come on, if Debbie wasn't as drop-dead gorgeous as she is, would you still have bought her them? Probably not, no. I'm a deeply shallow human being with absolutely no hidden depths whatsoever. And I'm also pretty new to this relationship thing, so I will probably slip up here and there. But believe me, I really want this to work. Did I pass your test? Let's call it a work in progress. Damn with faint praise. Huh. I should probably get this. It's Graham. Honestly, he's worse than my old nanny. I should probably shoot off. I'm already late. I've got a meeting with Susan, the woman you saw me with, the woman who I am categorically not sleeping with. Yeah, OK, don't get too cocky. I will bite back. It won't be good. Well, I'd say it'd been a pleasure, but honestly, you're just as terrifying as your daughter. <sighs> Wait till you meet your dad. Great. Gift that keeps on giving. See you later, Mum. Well, not bad for a rich kid. What do you reckon, huh? <laughs> You've done a good job, thanks. <laughs> You know, I was just thinking, what if walls could talk, eh? The things this place has seen. It's a house, Zach. Houses don't see anything. No, oh, don't be like that. Th this place is as much a dingle as the rest of us. That's what them flipping golfers don't get. Our Belle was born here. My own brother is at rest out there, my own brother. And you know what? That's where I want to be. When my time comes. There's something you need to have a look at. Now, don't go flying off the deep end. When I said I were going shopping earlier, I wasn't. I went to meet Morris. You did what? They've made us another offer. Um, we'll still get top whack for this house and £50,000, but they're going to throw in a new house for practically nothing. It's off the estate. We could at least have a look. Come on, Zach. We need to think about it. How many more times, woman? I don't want a new house! Consorting with the enemy, going behind my back, what were you thinking? I just want what is best for us, for us all. What, I'm selling this place under my nose? Is that the way to go about it? You might be easily bribed, but some of us have got principles. I won't have a lecture on principles from the likes of you. I work my fingers to the bone bringing money into this house, and what do you do? Lounge about all day, supping, flipping tea. Well, I'll tell you this for now. I am not going to sit back and let your stupid pride ruin things for us. David? Hiya. Uh, the grotto's going to have to wait. I've got loads to do, yeah? Yeah, well, give me ten minutes and then you can fill your boots. You're the boss. So... How's your day been? So-so. How's yours? I saw Pete earlier. We got chatting about you and him. Well, how was he? Hard to tell, really, with Pete, innit? You've you, you kind of got to read between the lines. I've never really got that, have you? How you can well, read something that's not there in between... David, <laughs> what have you done? Cos this is how you get when you've messed up. You change the subject and then you start talking rubbish. There's that mind-reading thing again. I don't... OK, look, I promise I'm not going to get mad, but I need you to tell me exactly what happened, you understand? Right now! Right! Of course, um, so Pete is banging to you and I didn't have the heart to... I kind of let him think that you were still into him and all. You did what? That's not fair, you said you won't get angry. I lied! Is there anything else that I need to know? I might have agreed that you go on a, a romantic date together to sort things out, I'm sorry. It is. That's OK, I don't blame you. That's good. I blame me for confiding in the most cowardly, incompetent bloke that I know. Thank you, David. You're welcome. I don't understand why you're being so stubborn. It's the offer of a lifetime. You can at least think about it. There's no to think about. We'd be set up for life. We could use the money to put Belle through university. 
Think about the family for once. It's exactly what I am doing. Oh, listen to yourself. If these walls could talk, eh? The things this place has seen. Well, come on, then. Tell me what these blessed walls have seen. Eh? Alice dying. You taking a belt to butch. Belle. Close to taking her own life. Or maybe they've seen you having a quick fumble with your fancy woman. Oh, here we go again. I thought we were past that. You might be, but I hate the thought of it. Face it, Zach. You weren't that fussed about this place when you shacked up with Joni. I love it here. I always have, and I always will. You moved out for over a year. You and that woman were going to get a flat together. You talk about memories, but what about mine? I can still picture you and her in this very room. You move out for her, but you won't for me. How do you think that makes me feel? Where are you going now, woman? As far away from you as possible. Coronation Street is next, continuing at 8.30. What will happen as Rana and Kate are forced to spend some time together? Then at 8, Ray Mears is in the forest hunting a shy and very cute marsupial in the concluding part of his adventure in Australian wilderness. And we're staying in Oz at 9 as Anton Deck bring you the first live vote off in I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here.